Hello everybody and welcome back to LA Noir. The last time we played, we caught the werewolf, aka the Black Dahlia Killer, um, and found out that all the cases were connected. Of course, it went completely under the radar. Nobody but me and Rusty and the Chief really kind of know. But we've been promoted to Vice, and so that's where we're going. Um, let me check real quick here with the cases. So yeah, five stars. Five stars on all the, uh, all the cases. So, uh, now we're going to be moving on to the Black Caesar. This is our first Vice case. And uh, if you guys remember, in the cutscenes with the newspapers, I talked about the little morphine vials. Those are going to be coming into uh, into play in the vice stuff. So the uh, the little morphine vials Folks, with the army. Welcome to Vice. This is, is your uh, new be... partner, Roy Earl. Oh. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Oh, boy. Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes See? it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. First off, Phelps is wearing this outfit, which I do not approve of. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Yeah, we get to drive Roy's car, though. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! What a mistake you've made, Roy! Now, you know what? If you want to look badass working for Vice, you gotta wear the Chicago Lightning, baby. That Let's is how you look snazzy hot, in fucking Vice. Look at this. A two-tone dress, uh, you know, dress jacket, suit jacket. Gorgeous. The gray on gray. Hat matches well. All right, the Cadillac convertible. We're gonna drive Roy's car. How badass nice is this? Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? Fuck no. no. This is his personal my car. Sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any of the vicinity officer needs assistance. Eighteen twenty-five North Highland Avenue. One eight two five North Highland. No, Avenue. let's go to that. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. Don't want to damage Roy's car, of course. It's a gorgeous Cadillac. Let's go ahead and take that, uh, that little side case before we, uh, head on out to the... Head on out to the crime scene, shall we? Unless it's like super far away, then I'm not going. Okay, we're we're almost there. It's actually not that far up. It's like, man, I swear, if it's like super far out there. It's got that sweet wood grain interior. It's a nice ride. 
Does it drift though, Roy? Woo! This is car 11K. Go ahead with the further. Oh shit! That dude with a fucking Tommy gun. Hey, where you going? Detective Phelps, I got the call for assistance. Who are the suspects? Bank robbers. Same gang that took the Citizens National Trust in savings last month. All right, well, I'm gonna need something. Oh shit! Run, Phelps, run! You're covered, Phelps. I need something a little bit more, uh, you know. Oomph. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you wanna fight with Tommy guns? I'm gonna give you a Tommy gun. I got one of these too, I'm bud. Wide open here. Oh shit! It's over there now. There we go. Fuck you. Oh, he shot a cop. Oh yeah, he's Find dead. Some cover. I poked some fucking holes into him. Clear me some space here. Man, you can't escape a Thompson, bud. It's a 45. Automatic. Oh yeah, he's over there. That's it. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. That's all of them. Woo! Had to have a gunfight. There we go. That's a way to start off an episode. Let's have a goddamn gunfight. <laughs> Roy doesn't. See, he's completely lifeless. He's just like, whatever. Dead bodies. I see him all the time. All right. Let's head to the crime scene. He does have a siren, thank God. Okay. Are you, you crazy? son of a bitch? Roy, you're ruining Roy's car. All right, all right, here we are. Junkie's apartment, 4 12 a.m. Picked a prize shithole for our first date. Come on, I got friends who work at the stairs, examiner. detectives. How about 50 Around the corner, last door on the left. All right. I'm all done. Your show now. Okay. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. 
So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? All right. Let's uh, check it out here. The money was showing through the wall out there. Tyrone Anthony Lamont. Yuck Street. Tyrone Lamont. Not even 23 years old. He has payout stuff. Number Small slip. chance in life is probably better than no another chance. Day, another One, four, six. All right. The Black Caesar. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. These clowns lived on. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. So they taped the serrets to the bottom of the cup. One serrette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Yeah, it's like an overdose, all right. What's he got here? Just when I think I've seen it all. Cornell Eustace Tyree. Good die young. I hope it was true in your case. JJ always listens to 275 FM. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? It's code. Oh, actually, I need to check his arms. Another day, another dollar. Looks like it was always going to end this way. Yep, needle marks. All right. Never the same, are they? More Another the Black Caesar cups. Order from the Caesar. Some instruments, a violin, and a trumpet as well. Okay, let's see here. So we have a piece of paper. Cherry Bell kind of Wind. Fruit. A bell I when I think I've seen wind. it all. Strange doodle. It's our code. All in my head. Major Hill and Simon Hill. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. And we have another cup, Black Caesar. Another day, another dollar. Guarantee they're all taped up. So here's the military surrets. I have morphine. no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Another special order from the Caesar. So they have a they they obviously get all get them all from 
the Black Caesar. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. for an empty cup. It's because there's one taped to the other side. It's right over the counter in broad daylight. Yep. Just like that. They just have tons of cups. So they, you know, they, they're, they come with popcorn in them. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Oh, yeah. Here, over here. Seems like Roy's going this way. Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. Aha! Here it is. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Woo, he's fast. Stay on him. Son of a bitch. Pick the wrong cop, you fucking animals. I ain't scared. Dumbass. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. All right, Fleetwood Morgan, but I'm gonna t I'm gonna snoop around first before I question him. So he plays at the blue room. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Jermaine Jones. Can give us something on this. Jones character. Okay. This isn't what we're looking for. It's got a trumpet with a with a with a uh, a horn cup on it. Uh 
Oh. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. He's got uh, number slips in there. Well, well. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Surrettes. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. Yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what he's gonna say. All right, Fleetwood. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. All right, tell us about the victims. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell, I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're a liar. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Uh, I mean... You got large quantity of morphine serrettes. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Oh, really? Speaking of, what are the we number slips? For the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want. What do the number help. slips have the to do with this guy? Tax on poor folk. Oh, right, bullshit! No, give me the real story. We're gonna dress on the slips. We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. But you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. <laughs> All right. Oh, we should probably, should probably call. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks for your help. All right. All right, so let's... Check out, uh, let's go check out the booking agency first, Jermaine Jones. Let's start there. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Any available unit, the 44 suspect we take I was Hopgood. Uh, Sunset and Ibar. Who? Unit to handle code two, identify Marlon the... Hopgood, your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career.
Roy does have a point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Phelps? Phelps, don't. Don't, Phelps. No, Phelps, we gotta drive. Come on. What are gonna... you doing? He's, I know. J I'm, I'm sorry about that, Roy. It's it's Phelps. Phelps has just got this, uh, he's got this bug that's been going around. It's like a dance bug. He just wants to, like, dance. No. Phelps. Nope. Phelps, stop it. You gotta take it seriously, bud. All right. Here we are, Jones's booking agency. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Oops. 238. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. Nope. Hey, who let you in? I did. I let me in. Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? I now, have do we probable need one? cause. Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? I don't know. I doubt I'm it. Pretty damn good detective, so I'll probably find something. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. Well, you do. I don't think but, this is going to uh, help us. You already got ratted out, bud. I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing. Somewhere. What about you two, huh? You boys looking for work? What kind of act are you supposed to be? <laughs> well, we're the act that catches all the bad guys and... What's the garbage like you in uh, Scott prison? Scott Phantom. Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. Oh, that's right. If you remember correctly, the clue 275 FM. All right, so 275. Oh, wow, would you look at this? No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. Is this the best you got? These mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Alright, if you really want to... Clean them up quick, boy. Come on, come on, beat these sons... <laughs> Stay the fuck Damn. down. 
Are you too good for anything? You freak of nature. Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. Will do. All right, what do we got? Drug money, of course. Five How many grand. starving musicians pay with perfect, clean 50s? Oh, look at this. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. You got a ton of that stuff, of course. Another betting slip at Audis. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. You even got some nuggies. Much felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. Oh! Got some nuggies. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. All right, asshole. Mont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone murder. and Cornell are dead? Hmm. They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal. I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. Wow. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Well, first off, you're going to have to tell me where you're getting your Who army surplus morphine? morphine. I don't know nothing about that. You do. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein. Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. All right, involvement with this Audi. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. Well, you're lying. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Listen, I've already identified the distributor. Fleetwood Morgan will You're testify the guy. that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlin Adi. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, Adi, and I ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker, I'll take the odds on anything. All right, what about Ramirez What's removals? What's the score with Ramirez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. So when we visit Ramirez removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic? And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take okay. them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. All right. Well then, let's make a phone call. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? 
That's the cop from the... I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez. R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thank you. All right. Now, let's go chat with Audi, shall we? So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. Woo! Union in the vicinity of 211 in progress at 3rd and Union. Stand by for further unit to handle identify. No time, I'm almost there. Christ! Son of a bitch. upstairs detectives Phelps and Earl LAPD the name's Merlin Odie I run a strictly legitimate bookmakers detective so that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running and the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you I'll pay my kick to the Watts and they pay their cut to the LAPD you can't go shaking me down you're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Yeah, I'm gonna just snoop around a bit if you don't mind, Audie. Incidental. Oh yeah, you remember the uh remember that uh other drawing we had earlier? Cherry Bell Win. Hold the win there. All right, we'll hold the bell. There we go. Ding, 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 motherfucker. Morphine Surrettes. level trafficking charge another Ramez removal sticker I think Ramez's place is our next stop and the bedding slips thanks for the paper trail Merlin oh 
Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. Damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it where up, you... Audie. And where are you going, Audie? Uh, you knocked that dude down. Stop right there, Audi, or I will shoot. There he shoot is. The creep. Hurry, you can still catch him. What are you trying to do, Merlin? Hey, don't mind me. Boom! Gotcha, bitch. All right, all right, relax, motherfucker. You got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Maybe. Oh, look at this. I owe you know. Ramez in his pocket. I'm just a Ramez pay real nice. Two hundred thirty-one dollars. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I've paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. Army surplus. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. Uh-huh. Well, you're lying. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Yeah, well... <sighs> Jermaine Jones already testified you running numbers and drugs. Jermaine so. Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. I owe you Ramez though. seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. Sure, so it has truth. nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you. And fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go to Ramez Removals. Mickey Cohen runs the dope rackets? Mickey does what he's told. Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action that's going. I thought Jack Dragna was the... Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. Word is he's going Oh. I hear too quickly. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? 
Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? We missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. Eleven K calling KGPL. Go ahead, eleven K. Eleven K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license David Charles four Woo! five seven. Roger, eleven K. Get in close and steer him off the tar. What does this lunatic think he's doing? We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Holy shit! Cole, spin him out. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck you going? Hands behind your head. Oh, I thought that other guy was part of it. I was like, where the fuck you going, boy? Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey. Hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. Oh, we got another newspaper here. But first, we have a ledger. Who's been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Polar Bear Ice Why Company. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Merlinati is buying a lot of furniture. We have another newspaper with Mickey Cohen on it. Let's go ahead and watch this. You think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, he looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an in infillate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of steak? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size.
Yeah, Jack's got some fucking balls to be going up against a dude like that. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Let's uh, we concern ourselves with there. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? I guess we'll find out. There must be a way through the back. Refrigerators. Well, village where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. <laughs> I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. Twenty years out of fashion. No. I agree on that one. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. All right. Up the ladder we go. Cargo. Oh, no. There's a cargo crane up here. This just leads outside. Oh, look. There's a door here. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. Frozen blocks of morphine. There's something frozen inside. Yeah, the box is a morphine, bud. Well, I'll be damned. Tons of it. This must be how they transport the morphine. Yep. Huge ass ice boxes. Well, ice blocks, but... And then the Polar Bear Ice Company. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Give me some goddamn cover. Freeze, bitch. <laughs> One shot and he was down. <laughs> Hey, 
Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. All right. Polar Bear Ice Company, we're coming for you. Is Avi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine, heroin, it's important to demonize Hop Phelps. It looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports of 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. Camp. We're going to the Polar Bear Ice Company. Oh my god. The factory is closed. Has been for years. Not much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators. Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Come on in and get mad at you, suckers. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Oh. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Eyes open. Can someone please kill these assholes already? Give me that shotgun. Ooh, about that hurt. Throw out the guns. Our friends or guns in here anytime soon. Understand? I'm wide open here. Clear me some space here! Find some cover! You're clear, go! Stay down! Goddamn cover! Let's see if I can. Oh shit! Stay in cover! I walk! Push forward! Oh, right in the head. He's gone. He died. I'll be taking that. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? 
ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. So it comes to Let's have a look around. <laughs> now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. No shit. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. So the Surrettes. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. we go the black caesar all questions correct all clues found a little bit of damage the death of lenny finkelstein should keep administrative vice in the headlines for now case closed five stars cutscene or are we going straight in oh shit the next case is reefer madness you know what that means we all right, so we, I will see you all on the next part where we're going to be investigating some weed. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you on the next part of Ellie Noir. Thank you all for joining me, and goodbye.